Hey guys, so if you saw my previous video on my channel about all the S2000 ball joint comparisons, uh, you'll know I ended up deciding to go with the Spoon Sports uh, lower offset ball joint in the S2000. This is just a um, kind of video showing you how it looks when it's installed in there. Nothing too critical really to point out other than just make sure it, you offset it so that it actually moves the bottom of the knuckle away from the car as opposed to towards the car because you'll have significant positive camber if you do that. Um, but here is a look at my Eccentrics right now. You can see this one's about right in the middle of the range. Um, it's not maxed out or full min right now. This is after my alignment um, on the driver's side. And then here's the passenger side. It is a little bit past halfway, so it's angled slightly more towards uh, full camber. If it was full camber, this uh, long part of the eccentric would be uh, right at this point here. So it's got another probably 60 degrees to turn to get more camber out of the right front. And I'll show you why with the spec sheet here in a second. About this is the uh, this is the settings I wanted to get on the car. All right, so this is the alignment sheet before when I brought the car there and I maxed out the left front and right front camber with the spoon uh, offset ball joints. The caster doesn't really read correctly on their machine, so that can be kind of ignored. Um, but main main thing to look for here is the camber. So I could get negative 4.6, negative 4.7 fully maxed out with the OEM adjustments on this car. And of course everything was way out because I needed an alignment. Uh, the rear was pretty close to where I wanted it because I didn't adjust the rear at all. I'm only messing with the front. So after the alignment, I got it right where I wanted. So 3.7 degrees of camber up front. And the caster came out to 3.9. This doesn't refresh. His machine didn't refresh when it printed. So 3.9 degrees caster on the front. My car's always really had low caster, so I'm not sure you know, really what the deal is there. I'm not sure if I trust that number either because visually it's got a lot more caster than that. So zero toe, and you just evened out the negative camber in the rear to 2.7 in. Gave about 0.44 degrees uh, total toe in. It's kind of where I'm shooting for this year. I used to run a little bit less, but going a little bit more for a little more stability. Not quite a quarter inch. I think this is like 3 sixteenths of an inch toe in right now. Um, so yeah, Spoon Sports uh, offset lower ball joints on an S2000 will get you almost five degrees of negative camber and right now I'm dialed back about halfway in the eccentrics for the OEM pieces and I'm at 3.7. So the range of adjustment with these is pretty much maxed out at 4.6, 4.7 ish and you can probably get back down around negative three minimum. Uh, this is just my guess that we didn't actually do that on the alignment rack, but I'm somewhere in the middle right now at 3.7, so you might get around a 2.8, but I'm going to say maybe negative 3. So uh, my car is about 7 tenths of an inch lower than stock um, for the ride height, so you know the lower you go, you will get more camber. If I was like a full inch lower than stock, I'd probably get 5 degrees maxed out up front, but I'm running 3.7. That's where I wanted the car to be at. And handling starts to fall off once you get above negative four degrees because you just lose a little bit more, too much contact patch.